Hello and welcome back to Europa Novalis for the Great Can. So, we are currently waiting for a whole bunch of cores to be done. We're fabricating claims on Lithuania and Hungary so that we can potentially get them in a league war. Lithuania hasn't joined either side of the league war, I don't think. So, uh, just looking for the next province, Kurtz. So yeah. Let's uh, double check who's in this league war. So we expect in Lithuania, what's Lithuania's flag? So we'll horseman and Hungary's got the stripes thing. Okay. So Hungary is definitely in it. Hor horseman is not. So Lithuania needs to hurry up and make it, make a choice. They might not join either side of the league war, but that seems very unlikely. Yeah, yes. Other things we need to do is we need to get ready for this war of Persia in 13 years. It's got a lot of time, but we need to do that. We also need to wait or hope that Tabaristan gets some claims on Timurid so we can go to war with them again. We could just declare war on them without a CB, but I really don't want to. Ideally, for the, what I'd like to do with the Timurids is I'd like to completely get them eaten by uh, Tabaristan. So, like, the last provinces here would be eaten. Actually, maybe leave those ones alone. But yeah, like to take the top of Persia next time, maybe take the Spice Province if we haven't finished, or both Spice Provinces if we haven't finished that mission. Mm. Yeah, so it's a matter of preparing for wars that are going to come. Okay, Brigand Strike of Pilgrims. Do we want uh, piety or no, no piety? I think we're at 100% piety right now. Um, yep, we're at 100% piety, so we might as well keep it that way, and we get prestige to go with it, which is very nice. We should insult one of our rivals because our power projection is getting a little low. Well, it's getting closer to 50. Is there anybody here who we can actually, like, who we've already insulted? No. So we, basically the rules for insulting is it has to be someone you don't have a truce with. Lithuania? I don't have a truce with them. Uh, we'll do it after the next fabricate claim. I forgot all of our diplomats are busy. We have a rebel faction about to uh, rise up as well. Russia has declared war on Sweden. Ooh. Sweden, Hamburg, Great Britain, and Poland. Sweden is against... Russia and the Livonian Order. Interesting. How is Sweden's army? Because Russia has 44,000 men. Sweden has 14,000 men. Huh. Sweden's going to get destroyed by Russia. We could swoop in and save them by declaring war on Russia right now. Would Sweden... Actually, would Sweden accept an alliance? Not a chance. I was thinking if we could get Sweden as an ally, that we could get them to call us into their war. So we would be able to use both of our forces against Russia. Because I don't really like the sound of fighting Russia pro bono. But we could. We could also... Not. That seems like a good idea. Maybe if we just let Russia take a whole bunch of land and get some aggressive expansion, they'll get a coalition against them and will eventually disappear. Golden Horde has gained a claim on Kharkov. I th we already had a claim on Kharkov. Kark we already had a claim there. I mean, thank you for giving us another, but we already had one. Poland and Pomerania. I'm definitely... I'm considering the Lithuanian war here. They don't have a lot of allies, so they're weak. They have 44,000 men. Everyone just has 44,000 men. It's a, a real pain. What's their tech level? Uh, 11. Okay. With the, with the successful conversion of a region of non-believers lately has given our missionary... Okay. What does that mean? It's going to take an extra couple of months. Yeah. Because we no longer have that. Georgian Separatists are going to appear in Kartili. Kartili. Okay. We can either raise autonomy or we can go beat up the Separatists. Let's uh, raise all of our army maintenance and go and beat them up. There we go. Let's see, we'll move uh, into Ganja here. So have a look, that'll be one year, and they're likely to raise up in that province in Cartilli. So in fact, we can just go straight to Cartilli. 
Persian separatists are going to raise everywhere. We could raise uh, local autonomy. Or we can keep it where it is and beat all the separatists. I think we can beat all the separatists. We're actually almost ahead on manpower, so... It's kind of fine. We'll sit around zero manpower, but if it's actually zero manpower, it's not too bad. Okay, got missionaries about to finish as well in this area, which might mean that they don't actually rebel. Oh, because we're sitting on the provinces, they won't rebel. Yeah, we should move to nearby provinces. We actually want them to rebel at this point, because otherwise they're just going to sit there at 90. Ottomans have announced us as their new rival, and they removed Castile. Interesting. Did they choose a side or something? They haven't chosen a side. No, they just hate us. Hmm. They pieced out the War of Florence. Yeah, it doesn't look like they managed to take anything in that war. So, on this side... We have Milan as a new member. Try to see if we have any other new members. Doesn't really look like it. Hmm. Yes. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. All these pop-ups. So, our ruler died too young? Okay. Ottomans joined the Protestant League. Good. So, they won't declare war on us that way. We have a Regency Council. But you don't get a Regency Council. As our people, it just kills them, right? We do actually have Regency Council of zero, of two zero zero. Of course, our six five two is gonna die. Ooh, or we can either have all these rebels, or we can have a four three four. One hundred percent, we're taking the four three four. We can lose the stability or lose ducats. We'll lose ducats. So, whole bunch of things we need to do here, because we're at one hundred. Oh, we're not at one. We're at six party. It's very different. I guess we just want to gain piety. Yeah, it doesn't matter what order we do it in. So we'll do it like that. We should still be able to convert. Yes, just not as effectively. And we probably want to raise stability when we can. Uh, probably after our cores are done. That way it doesn't cost a lot. Oh man, it's cancelled the military axis. Our truce is expired with Nogai and Kazan. Baluchistan, yes, we will accept... Tabaristan, we will accept. Who else do we need to sort out? Mamluks. Royal marriage, please. Good. And probably Bukhara. Okay. Revolts, of course. Not in the place that they said the revolts were going to be. Uh, we'll put you in charge. Uh, so you go down there. You go over there. Right. We have gained the trade dispute, Cassus Belli. We should... Pro Wait, are they our rival? Why aren't we trade disputing them? Issue embargo. There we go. We have converted them to the true faith. The next one is Imurti. Here we go. Georgian separatists are still thinking about rising up. Ah, whatever, we'll raise autonomy. Don't have to deal with them. Byzantian Separatists will also be rising up soon, but it's not too bad. They get years of nationalism down here, which is a bit annoying, but... I mean, unless I had a fort in every province, this was just going to happen. Our general died. Uh, we can get another general. Just needed to find out which uh, army he was in. You're not as good, but you'll do. You'll do. Okay, easy fight. Should be easy fights as long as they stay in 10 stacks. Should be pretty easy even if they get into larger stacks, but that's... They're not going to do that. They're rebels. They don't have a very smart AI. Siege thing that needs to be sieged. That's pretty much as far as it goes. Uh, Ryzanian Septists are 0 0.7 years. Okay. Get all the way over there. It's because our stability was lowered. That's why we have all of these uh, Separatist problems. Cores are almost done though. So we can raise stability again. And get rid of those. 
Oh, those uh, separatists ran away. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Right. So, let's get these separatists. Tabaristan are coming down to unsiege the province for us, which is very nice of them. Okay, get our Spice Province back. Sarmi back up here. Okay. I thought that was another rebel spawning. Moldovia's fine. Theodoro's fine. Yeah, it looks like we're not really going to get rebels anywhere else apart from... Uh, Apart from Ryzan. Because Ryzan are going to pop before we get all these cores done. Probably. They might pop anyway. Right, you can come all the way up to the other side of the country. I would also like us to be a little bit wider rather than in a straight line. Like a bit more of a circle country. That way it's much easier to get across. But there's really no way to do that without getting rid of the Ottomans. Which uh, isn't going to happen. I'm not even sure if we could beat the Ottomans rivals, let alone the Ottomans themselves. Because they're allied with uh, all of the northern African uh, Sunni states. Oh, I'd really like to get to Ryzan before they uh, before they sieged it. Oh well. I think if we wait here, they'll just walk into us. Because they have to go to the other province. Mm. They don't seem to be doing that. Uh, civil order. Oman will cede a whole bunch to Hejaz. Hejaz has actually made Oman just a non-factor. We could almost declare war on them. Like on Oman. It would be pretty fine. We'd also declare war on Hejaz, but they're allied with the Mamluks. Would they accept vassalization? Not quite. Could just declare war. Baluchistan would join. Do I want a war with Baluch? Wait. Why are those our only two options? We lost our alliance with these guys? Someone forced them to annul treaties with us. Oh. I didn't even notice. That's a bit of a pain. Don't suppose you... Yeah, you don't have any claims on Oman. So if we call Baluchistan in, we would be able to use them to take out these kind of things because they have an art, they have a boat. And we could take the rest of Oman before the Ottomans can get in there. Mm. Tempting. Tempting. Very tempting. It's, the, uh, it's not gold. I thought it was a gold mine. Mm. We should probably declare war on them one way or another. They have, what, zero army? Oh man has 1,000 men. Yeah, we should declare war on them. Right. So. Uh, need to make sure they don't have a core on anything that we're trying to uh, take. The core promises. Claim, 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 claim. What might be interesting is if we take Oman as a vassal, because they had a lot of... The land's a bit spread out, so they're difficult to take. And they have a whole bunch of cores. So what we could do is we could take them as our vassal. Then somehow we get the Mamluks to attack Hejaz with us. We take out all of this land. And give it all to a man. Hmm. That could be fun. Anyway, the clear war. I'm not going to call Baluchistan in. Uh, Oman move the trade port. Yeah, well, I suppose they had to because they lost their, all the land they had. Oh, their fort's not even maintained. I think that means we can take it down in one cycle. Oh, never mind. They maintained it. They have no men in the garrison. Does this mean if we just break the walls, we can just assault it down? Oh, we just take it. Yeah, I was right the first time. I was a bit confused because it said like 40 minus 42 percent. Uh, this 10 army can then be split and we'll put five there and five there. Good. Spread out carpet siege. 
Uh, oh, the trumpet means we can call allies to war. I was a little confused because I don't usually see that. Because usually when we want to call allies to war, we already have our... Like, we do at the start. Our second general died? Or was it the weak... It was our weak general who died. Oh, it was a good general, of course. New general? Yup. Our days of good generals are gone. Perfect for fighting the Ottomans. We have uh, the worst generals. High enthusiasm. Interesting. Hejaz, will you give us military access? You will. Good. How about you, Naj? Perfect. Uh, Bakar has declared war on that other nation. Hmm. Are Yemen allied with Hejaz? That's a question I need to ask. No. But they're allied with the Mamluks. How about Naj? They're allied with the Mamluks. You're allied with... Mamluks, what have you been doing over here? That is one nest... Like, that is one massive amount of alliances. You're not going to expand very well for those alliances, but... Yeah, does that stop anyone declaring war on you? Hmm. I really want to use the Mamluks to attack someone else, and then that'll allow us to uh, get out of this. Ooh, where did the map go? Lone Horde has occupied Kulof. Good. Do they have a fort down? Yeah, they have one fort down here in their capital. Uh, can we actually make them our vassal? Very important to know. Not quite. Ugh. Okay. There is a way of making them our vassal, even if we don't, even if they, uh, they have nothing else, like, even if the war score cost is too much. And the way that we could do this, it's a, it's, I was going to say a little gamey, it is very gamey. If we conquer all their provinces and let the autonomy raise to, and let the, um, war exhaustion raise to 20 percent, it will eventually start lowering their autonomy in their provinces which will then in turn mean that they like lose all the land but as I said it's very gamey and takes a while we have a while though hmm anyway we have a diplomat free what should we be doing with them we should be improving relations with Bakara because they need to become our ally when the like, timer runs out Okay, missionary still going. Cores are almost finished. Right, improve relations to full with Tabaristan, so we should start fabricating more claims in Lithuania. Just make sure we have them all. Doesn't look good for Russia. What's happening? What's wrong, buddy? Uh, nothing at all. They just didn't have their armies all, all together, presumably. Fabricate a claim on... Rinsk. What is their war score? They're actually losing the war a little bit, which is surprising. I assume they were just going to destroy Sweden from the amount of men they had. Maybe Sweden's allies actually managed to work out how to get across the ocean. So, stability for inflation or gain inflation. What well, we have to gain inflation. We've done this math before. We do have a lot of inflation. But we have to do it. It might be worth lowering inflation. I'm not going to do that though because we're very close to getting the next idea group. Next idea is uh, interest per annum goes down. Which is good because we have a lot of uh, interest we're paying off. And we'll get that next month. Probably we'll be able to get enough to core whatever we're taking from old man uh, after that's done. Like, we can take the idea and then still have enough to core. Okay, interest has gone down. Does that mean that we're losing less uh, from interest? Yes. There you go. We're losing an, uh, 0 0.4 ducats less each month. You might want to raise war taxes. 20% of 20 is... It's a fit 4? 4 ducats a month? Yeah, start gaining money worth doing. Uh, trade embargo of Aragon. Did 
Oh man, no, the uh, Ottomans uh, rival Aragon. No, interesting. Wonder why they did that. Also, Tuscany appears to be where Florence was. Does Flor Florence have an option to form Tuscany? Because it's got the weird borders, like they had the option to form. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll finish our War of Oman and, uh, yeah, see what happens then.